Hi guys, I'm going to do a quick video try to explain how I adjusted the bracelet on this Nibosi Day Date. Um, what a lot of you are finding out is when you get your lovely Nibosi watch from probably from AliExpress, um, you're trying to size the bracelet down and once you've removed all the links that you can remove, it's still too big. Uh, I've got a six and a half inch wrist, which is kind of an average size. I found it too big. And the only way you can remove any more links is by forcibly removing these links, which aren't meant to be removed, basically. Um, so the links that can be removed, you just use um, the pin pusher, which comes with the comes with the watch, or if you've got a better one, that's even better. Um, to remove the solid ones. How do I explain this? Because I can't actually, I, I can't do it because I've, I've sized this, but these are the links that I, I removed. So as you can see, I've had to forcibly bend those out. Because once that's removed and I took out, um, these, these are the links which I've took out uh, the right way. And this was the one I forcibly removed. And to do that, what I did is, as you can see, there's a little bit of scratching here. So I did it about this spot here, is I used this I would probably use a flathead screwdriver, but I just didn't have one on me. To slip that in between and then lever as hard, well, quite hard, so that this uh, link would bend out. See, that's the other side. of the broken link. Because they fit in. You can actually see I've, I've, that's how fixed they are. That would be like that. And the other one, they would both be kind of welded in. So you're having to force these apart, um, which is not that easy. Once you've got a little bit enough bent, you can then use pliers to basically wrench it apart. So you're going to have to hold the watch with two, probably two pliers, use cloth around them so you don't scratch them. Though it's difficult not to damage it, I have to be honest. But once you've managed to release it from one end slightly, you can kind of, if you imagine that's in there, you're, you're just pulling it off. Once you've done that, the watch, you've, that's basically taken a link out. And then you can... Um, put it back together. So what I mean put it back together is that you'd have to take this pin out. So this came away. You've removed the solid one. So then you can then add that to there and push the pin back through. And that way, you know, you can push through this middle link. And then you're good to go. But the adjustment on this isn't great. I think I only had to remove, yeah, one, one link, forcibly remove that one link. And that was basically it, where is it?
So basically to recap, if I remember rightly, you probably want to, to split the, the bracelet. So take a link out and then leaving you room to place something inside that will slip inside. Lever against these two like that, then that should bend this out enough that you can then get hold of it with grips, pliers, and you've got to snap, really, you've got to snap these pins. If you imagine they're inside, that you know, that, that these things are, are welded together. So I've had to like snap that quite hard once that's gone, you can pull it out. Sorry, I'm not explaining this very well. It's kind of hard to do because I've already done it a while back and I'm just trying to remember how I did it. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So you can see I did get a few scratches. It's almost impossible not to scratch it. Um, probably best not using that. I mean, that's all I had on me. But if you've got like um, a flat headed screwdriver that's thin, that would do the same job, uh, but I found getting something in between the links and then levering it, that that did the job. And then the pliers, grips, to finish it off, to basically twist it, to snap it. And then you get that link out and then you can put it back together and put, you know, the good part back together because you get rid of the link you, you're not using. And then you can put the bracelet back together and put one of the pins through and you're good to go. It would make sense when you do it. So I hope this helps anyone who's stuck with one of these. It is a little bit daunting, but if you do mess it up, you can probably go onto AliExpress and just buy a Jubilee style strap for not a lot of money. One that would probably fit something like a Pagani or something like that. As long as it's got this curved um, end case link and you should be able to find something to fit this watch yeah it's a bit of a design flaw I don't know why they've made the watch strap so difficult to size and considering it's from China where most of that market would have smaller wrists than the Western market it doesn't make a lot of sense but it's not impossible. You can forcibly remove these links with a bit of bit of effort. It's not too difficult. Once once you've snapped that link, you can kind of see it's, it's really you know I've had to really bend it to get it out. I mean it wasn't pretty, but that's what you're aiming to do. You, you've got to snap, kind of like the little welds. Once that's snapped, the link will, you'll be able to pull this link out. It's a little bit of a gamble. You might completely muller the strap. You just got to kind of go easy, use your common sense, try to protect the strap as much as possible. I think I did wrap a cloth around and this type of thing, but it was unavoidable getting some little scratches on there. But they've kind of polished out a little bit as well, so it's not too bad. Anyway, good luck guys. Hope you manage to remove this stubborn link like I've done if you need to. And really, if it doesn't fit you, you've kind of got nothing to lose because you can't use it anyway. So you might as well have a go. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck.